Life, Love, and Pop Pop Culture. Hello everyone, my name is Danielle Delgado and you're watching Life, Love, and Pop Culture. Today I'm on the Fox lot talking all about genius. Take a look. Like, we were on a very tight timeline, so a lot of it was happening real time, which actually I think was a great way to do it because we would, the, the, the scripts are extraordinarily well researched. So they were, I could trust in them that everything that was represented was factual. And then I could back that up by looking, I had the Richardson books and I had some of the diaries like Francois Gillot's book and Fernand's book, which was more my era. The people he surrounded himself with were, were all very interesting in their own right. You know, they all had their own passions, their own focuses. They were really thriving on each other and pushing into different creative mediums. You know, you've got a Polinaire who's a poet. You've got Max who does everything. And then you've got Pablo who's painting and then he'll draw and he'll sculpt and he'll do as he goes on through life. And then you also have all of the women who are feeding him, you know, all of this emotional fire that he's transforming into art. And um, all of those things, I think, in my timeline do contribute to his growing up as all of us, you know, especially I do late teens through 40. So in the 20s in particular, I think it's a very fiery period for most people where you're like figuring out who you are, you've always been in a system, and then you're just like set free in the world and you have to find out who you want to be and who your people are and where you fall in the, in the scheme of things. And for Pablo, it's just nice that we have it documented so we can really see it because <laughs> it wasn't so long ago. Yeah, we had this um, lovely artist, Andre Murida, who is in Malaga and from Malaga and friends with Antonio, who came in and, and spent an hour with me, kind of, especially for sketching. I think the difference between a painter at my level, which doesn't need mentioning, and someone like Pablo is just the confidence in what he's doing. You know, he's done it so many times. He's like, this is the line. You can draw, you know, a dove and three seconds and I can draw a blob in three seconds okay yeah that's like people ask me if I cook and I'm like I make just the best cereal <laughs> uh, the transformation was multifaceted you know there's the makeup there's there was the weight there's also he's much sturdier much less you know he doesn't have as much of that naivete which hopefully you know, saw a little bit of that in the in the episode you just watched, he really didn't look very old. He kept his his Spanish genes, kept him young for uh, for a lot of his life. So we get we get some eye bags, we get some some jowls, we get uh, I gained weight, which I'm still tr thanks baggy shirt, still trying to like get the last the last bits of off. The hardest. I think it's just the the pressure or the weight of, of, of making sure you get it right or you get it as close as to right as you can, as you are you know uh, as you can. So that's uh, it. Just involves a lot of research, and um, it all comes through the writing. So it helps that the writing you have ten hours to not only tell Picasso's story but all these people around him. Uh, and unlike what you would, unlike uh, as great as some of these uh, biopics are, you don't get a whole lot of time with the other people in their lives. And when you stretch it out to 10 hours, though, uh, at least I am the beneficiary of that because, and, uh, you know, I get to spend more time with Max. And for people who don't know Max and don't know who he was, get to, get to spend more time he's a fascinating person and uh, to be able to I remember when I did a uh, 42 and I went uh, to travel to Portland to interview I interviewed two of the sons of the guy up there and he uh, and uh, one of the sons had uh, had a recording of his father uh, the guy was playing uh, four months before he passed away and it was amazing he was just interviewing his dad because he knew the time was limited so, you know, some, when you don't have that uh, luxury with someone like Max, uh, to be able to find his letters uh, um, that were translated into English, uh, translated into English, 
that he wrote, uh, especially during his time at, at the monastery. You get the closest thing, that's the closest thing you get to actually hearing a voice. And that's a remarkable connection to have, uh, for lack of a better word. That's something that I am very grateful to have. So, I don't know. It's just that kind of, you want to do right by them, whether or not they're aware or watching <laughs> or not. You know, it's, uh, and especially when it's uh, someone who's had a harder life and a life with struggles, uh, which is pretty much everybody. But, you know, some people are also doing it worse. Uh, he, yeah, you want to, you owe it to that person. Well, that's it for me on the Fox Lab. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And don't forget to tune in next time as we discuss more life, love, and pop culture. Life, love, and pop, pop culture. If you enjoyed my interview, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to look out for new videos every Wednesday.